Hi friends, welcome to Stamping with Wow. It's Jennifer Sasaki, your favorite Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'm gonna be making a celebration card for you. Our celebration promotion with Stamping Up! is gonna be going on from August 3rd through September 30th of 2021. Today is August 6th, and what I've made for you is this really beautiful card using the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. Now this stamp set's free, with a $100 purchase. And Celebration is all about giving back to the Stamping Up customers that support our businesses. This Delicate Dahlia Stamp Set, and that's free with a $100 purchase. Now this stamp set is really nice. It has, um, it's that photopolymer um, type of stamp. So when you stamp it, it picks up the edge, the lines of it, like as if this is an actual photograph of a flower. So you get a really true picture or stamped image when you stamp it because the detail is, is really strong. It's fine detailing. Now there also is another stamp in this set that's just the outline of the dahlia. And what you can do is you could use the ink pad to, um, color it in or use markers or uh, blend the alcohol blends. What are those called the Stampin' Blends? So let's go ahead and get started. There's a lot of good stuff in this catalog. Um, if you go online, you can get on my Facebook page, Stampin' with Wow, I will have um, a downloadable version of the Celebration Catalog our mini catalog and our annual catalog and if you're not into downloadable versions you are more than welcome to email me at stampin with wow at yahoo.com and i will be more than happy to get those catalogs in the mail to you the other thing i'm using in this card is another paper that's coming free from celebration and this is uh the beautifully penned it's a 12 by 12 paper and you get 12 sheets it's all in black and white if you watch my facebook channel last tuesday on august 3rd i did a whole walkthrough of the paper and everything so you could see more of the paper and this paper is also available in our celebration catalog for free with a 50 dollars minimum purchase so if you spent 150 dollars on stamping up products from either catalog, the annual catalog or our new mini catalog that's July through December, which I like to call our holiday catalog. If you spend $150 between these two catalogs, you can select, even though it's gonna be hard to wanna choose just these two things, you're gonna want it all, but you can select these two items. The, what was it called? Beautifully penned, paper and the delicate dahlia and then you can create these cards too so let's get started in this celebration so this card that i made for you i used the fresh freesia ink and the fresh freesia cardstock and then this piece of paper came from our hand pen paper which is new in our annual catalog it's really pretty it just launched um, in may and i just love all these flower florals you can get out of it but um, and it coordinates directly with that beautifully penned celebration paper but what I'm going to make to you for you today is I'm going to make this card but I'm going to switch the coloring to pale papaya from the polished freesia or I'm sorry fresh freesia so I'm going to set this aside and we are going to go ahead and get started so what you might want to get started is I'm going to use these two inks, Pale Papaya and Soft Succulent. I have a sheet of pale, I'm sorry, Soft Succulent and all you need is enough to um, stamp two leaves and um, we're going to fussy cut those out. And then you need a sheet of white cardstock, um, big enough for at least two flowers because we're going to stamp one image and then we're going to cut out the center and pop it up. And then what I have here is two squares 
one in that beautifully pinned and one from the hand pen series. And these are measuring at five inches by three and three fourths. And I'm cutting them in a diagonal. And the trick when you cut this is you want to um, make sure when you cut both sheets that you're in using the same diagonal slant. Otherwise, your, your pieces won't line up again. So when I go to cut this pale papaya piece, I wanna make sure that I'm using the same lineup so that th these pieces can coordinate together. If I switch it, they won't coordinate together when I line them up for my card base. So make sure that you keep your um, diagonal going in the right direction. Otherwise, you're gonna cut more paper. <laughs> And trust me, I find that out the hard way. I keep forgetting that. So the nice thing about this is you have another set of card bases, or not bases, but decorative uh, de designer series paper ready to go onto another card base. The other thing I have is a eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter card base. And I have two pieces of Whisper White. One is five and a quarter by four, sorry, five and a quarter by four. That's gonna be for our outside. We're gonna layer between the pale papaya and our two sheets of designer series paper like so. And then we have one piece that I like to cut my inside sentiments at five by three and three fourths because when I cut four out of one sheet of paper, it gives me two one inch borders. Um, two one inch strips so that's just a little tip for you because when you um so these are what i'll usually get as excess when i cut these smaller ones for my inside sentiment because when you if you cut them at the four by five and a quarter you get half inch strips and one inch strips are a lot easier to reuse than half inch strips and i think when you're looking at the inside of your card you don't notice that this has been cut down a quarter inch more than uh, what we used to. So this is a better reusable cut like in the world of scraps. <laughs> so that's how I like to use for that. And then um, that's about all I'm gonna use. So what I did start with is a large sheet of white paper and I wanted to try stamping. So you can see I had a hard time getting this image to stamp completely. So that's something that tells me right away, okay, be mindful when I do these so that I don't, see this was the first one, I totally missed an area. Pressed a little bit better, but still missed an area. So I gotta work on my pressing because this is a large stamp. And then out of these two, I think this one came out. So what I was doing is checking to see if the pale papaya ink would be uh, card worthy. Like would the ink be strong enough to make a card with it? And I didn't get quite a great image right there, but this one came out really nice. I like that. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and flip it over. This was when I was making the first card. And we are going to um, stamp our cards that we are going to use, stamp the flower we're going to use on this card. I'm going to, this is a large stamped image, so I'm going to ink it up in the reverse that we normally do, just a little easier on me. And I am going to stamp here. It's nice. Now I'm gonna stamp it twice because I am popping up the center of this and I'm gonna need another image to do that. So thinking I'm gonna keep this one for my big flower and that one for the center. Even. So I'm going to start right here. There we go. And then I'm going to create some of my own. If I don't see one that's coming in the pattern that I want. So 
or if there's a big gap, then that's where I'm just kind of like creating my own. And you, if you received this card, you wouldn't know that that's what I did. So don't worry about, oh, that doesn't look good. It does, you, you know, just, you know, know it's, it's the overall effect, not the process that you get there. So it may not get there the way you think it should, but if you're happy with it in the end, then it got exactly where it was supposed to get. Does that make sense? So that's why if I don't, I don't wanna come way far out with this center piece. I just wanted it to um, give that illusion of the flower. So see how I want that, and dahlias kind of turn, like get to a point. So I want to make sure I have pointy ends. And then if you want more shading on your dahlia, you could take, um, I think that's okay. So if we want more shading on here, I think we could take a sponge dauber or a, blending brush. The sponge dauber might be easier because of the um, easier to maneuver into these little edges. Where a blending brush you might just get too much ink in other places. So by doing inking the edges a little bit like this it makes it look more intentional. There we go. I think I like that. So see, it will just lift up that. So see how that just gives that flower that little bit more impact right there. And then if we wanted to do a third layer, we could stamp this a third time. So I'm going to take Where's my stamp? So I really only care about the center. We'll see if we can make it work there we go so now i'm just gonna come in and make some jagged lines as i try to cut around for this center because like i said it's not like you're seeing these clear lines or anything and you just want it to look like it's supposed to have been done that way right and then after you get it out if you still don't like it then by all means Cut it some more, but let's see. Let me ink up the so it looks more. Yeah. yeah, I think once we pop that up on dimensionals, it'll look very intentional. There we go. Okay, so now, so I came in with some Winka Stella and just colored it on. Cause I think, I think I wanted more of a, um, it sounds funny. It looked very dry. <laughs> so I think the Winka Stella It'd be like, almost like you want some glossy accents or something, because you just want a little oomph on here. There we go. All right. All right, so now I want to um, take some dimensionals, and I'm just using up my scrap pieces of dimensionals. That two might be enough for that one. There we go, and we'll put one on this guy. There, 
now we've given our flower a lot more dimension. Yeah, I like that center being popped up. Okay, so now for the card, not much to the card. So we'll stamp the leaves so we can continue our journey fussy cutting because I know how much everyone loves that. So I'm using the soft succulent. Both colors I'm using today are our new 2021 in colors. Um, the hand pinned paper was designed. I'm using the outline of the leaf since I'm using colored cardstock for it. So our hand pen paper was designed for the launch of our new 2021 in colors. And I'm just gonna do two leaves. And we'll do our sentiment in a minute. I'm just gonna fussy cut these out. I just think on like this card, those leaves added just a wee bit more um, to it. We can stamp the inside sentiment. So what I did on this one is I stamped two images of this photopolymer stamp, but I stamped off the ink. I don't know if I have, I'll be able to stamp off the ink with this pale papaya, but let's try it and see. And I like to stamp off on the edges. There we go. Oh, I didn't stamp it off. Let's try this other one stamped off and see how light or dark it is. Yeah, see, I was afraid. Oh, it's not too bad. We could flip it over and try again. Let's try again. I kind of like how it gives just that soft look. It's barely noticeable. On stamp sets, what I recommend is always buying a couple of the stamp sets that are only sentiments because like this one, um, the, the sentiments you have on here, they don't really get you to a front and an inside sentiment. They, I mean, I could easily see it being on the inside or seeing it on the outside, but I don't see these connecting, you know, together. So I like to buy a couple of sentiments in our catalogs um, so that I always have some extra sayings um, to add to the inside card. So in the first card I made, I used the oh so happy for you and then wishing you much happiness today and always. So like, I like that oh so happy for you. And I pulled this little tag die cut I had out of another stamp set, but we'll use maybe a punch or something this time. So this one could be a thank you kindly, um, sending heartfelt sympathy, you inspire me. And then what we could do is um, a different one of these. So I always recommend that you have some of these because sometimes the stamp set you're working with doesn't have enough sentiment to get your card to the level that you want. It's, it's up to you, it's a personal thing. So I think we're gonna go with the You Inspire Me and then instead of doing a tag, we'll have it be, um, we'll use the border punch. Use this one. This is called the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. And um, I like this one here. So we'll use that when we go to do our sentiment and we'll probably do a two color layer. Okay, so on the inside, it's gonna say you inspire me on the outside. And then I think on the inside, I'm gonna go, your friendship is a blessing. So 
So just something to keep in mind because I, I, I used to not buy sentiments and then I would just buy the stamps and I'd be like struggling for what I'm going to put on the inside of the card. So that's why I just think it's easier to just keep a spare, a couple of those sets of sentiments lying around. So you never have to worry about that. And that's very cute. So that's the inside of a card. So we're done with one more thing. So here's a half inch strip um, that I just keep lying around from when I cut my white cardstock down. And, oh, almost good. Got the, one more time. There. Okay, let's go ahead and punch this out. gonna have to trim it I think that's the back side yeah okay and then lay this down I'm gonna flip it over I like to see where I'm trimming just to make sure that it's even there we go I like that so let's go ahead and put all these pieces. We can put the inside card in. I'm just gonna use some good old stampin' seal. Get the job done, keep my fingers from getting all gluey. I do like a good Tombow liquid adhesive, but... And then if you, oops, if you notice that your um, card base keeps flopping up, just give it a good score and that should help it um, stay folded. When you mail it or put in an envelope, that will also help it stay folded. Okay, so we're gonna put, I wanna put these two together and we're gonna use the Pell Papaya Ribbon. And maybe I'm gonna change the orientation here. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to do, sorry, I forgot all about that. I'm gonna use a blending brush and add some color. This one I used for yellow. I'm gonna add some color to this piece of, I wanna say black and white paper. Okay, we'll just get some ink on there. And I just want to shade this white to have a little bit more of the pale papaya look. So it has more of that designer. There we go. And then on the other card, I had my um, Fresh Freesia ribbon go over the green, but with this one, because I'm using the pale papaya, I think I'm going to have it go more over the blacks, because you're not going to notice it if it's on the um, Freesia, I mean Freesia, the pale papaya side. And then if I add these flowers. So it'll be like that. And then we need that you inspire me. We'll just pop that up on the card. Okay, so what I did last time is I'm gonna take a little bit of, I don't need this. I'm gonna use a little bit of scotch tape to hold these two edges together so that I can hide my ribbon on the back. The other thing you could have done is kept one of these pieces of designer series paper, the full rectangle, and only diagonally cut on the other. But, you know, I like to save as much paper as possible, so I wasn't going to do that. And then I just leave a little bit to go over the back. Not a lot. So then... I'm gonna fold, I'm gonna tape one piece back. And 
then I'm going to tape another piece back, making sure it looks straight. Oops, that is not straight. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to adhere that onto our piece of white. So let's go ahead and use our stampin' seal again. There we go. And line it up over here. That looks good. There we go. Then we can just put some Tombow on here real quick. I think I'm running out or it's clogged. I think it's clogged. Go and just figure out my placement. And, oh, so on these leaves, what I want to do is, um, just going to use up some more scraps, is I'm putting dimensionals on the part that sticks out, and I'm going to use some glue on the other part. That way, it'll be flat under the flower. Oops. Should have put it down there. It'll be flat under the flower. That one's gonna, uh, I'll just cut it off. No big deal. Now I got lifting because lifted. There we go. So I'm putting, sorry, I'm not even finishing my statement, huh? Okay, so put a dimensional at the largest point of the flower and then put a little bit of glue at the base. The base is gonna go under the flower There we go. And then the leaves still pop up. And then we're, I'm not, I think I'm not going to add, um, actually I don't think I'm gonna be able to put it there. I was putting a bow. On this one I put a bow, so let me see if I can still add a bow. I'll do the smaller bow. still at the you inspire me we will pop that up on top of everything or down here and we'll put the bow so I love to use my favorite way to adhere a bow is the glue dot they hold it no problems there we go and I'm gonna put it on the sentiment and then I think I'm gonna pop this sentiment up a little bit like that. So, I'm trying to, I'm gonna use the mini dimensionals. There we go. That's probably two or three. More here. I guess you won't see that little bump I worked so hard to. <laughs> Out. It's funny, huh? Anyways, I know it's there, right? There we go. Maybe this should go up. Let me get it, the glue dot off. And we'll move it up 
there. So it looks like it's part of the ribbon that's coming across. And then you see my dot. So that's the card. I think that came out really cute. And who doesn't love free product? It's nicer to make something beautiful with something you got for free, huh? To Oh, you know what? I never mounted it into the card. That's so funny. Sorry about that. I'm already ending my thing. So now we're just gonna add some adhesive. Oh, I grabbed the wrong stamp and seal. This is the good stuff. The stamp and seal plus. And we're gonna put it right on here. And now we have a really pretty two sets of cards. I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial. I look forward to uh, creating more of these cute videos, especially for the next two months using the free celebration products. Keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Have a great day. Bye for now.